What's up, Makeup Minions? I'm Kim Woody from Woody Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button below to become part of my family. I wanted to create something straight out of my head today with using my new short haircut, and I came up with this little guy. So let's begin. If you like me and you'd like to support this channel, I'd appreciate if you became a sponsor on my Patreon page. Like I said, I did get a short haircut and I love it. And I thought it would be really fun to tease it all up into something crazy. I had this like vision in my head of creating sort of a funny monster where its body is my whole head. And then the legs or something come out from my head and it just looks really spindly and strange. But I also wanted it to be cute. So basically what I pictured was a big pink fuzzball on two stick-like legs with a big chompy mouth. So I teased the crap out of my hair, totally went all 80s. And uh, then I sprayed in some hairspray and then some colored hairspray and it just stayed in this fluffy mass. Then with pink body paint, I covered my entire face except where I'm going to be leaving a little bit of skin for the teeth. I have these uh, veneer fangs from Dental Distortions that make your teeth look super nasty and like sharp. They're called gremlin fangs. I only use the underbite and I wanted to mimic those teeth shapes going out from the edges of my mouth all the way up my cheeks. I laid down a layer of like yellow white and then went over it with white again just to create the shapes of the teeth. The teeth will be coming out of like some ooey gooey gums I'm going to make, but I am yellowing them up to try to match the tones that are on the veneer fangs. Outline the edges of the teeth with a gum color. So this is just a little bit of dark red. I'm trying to mimic my actual gum color cause, or not my actual gum color, but the veneers gum color. So I'm adding some brown to that just to darken it a bit cause it was looking a little fake. Fill in your lower lip and all remaining areas minus where your nose is gonna go. Be super careful when you're outlining the teeth. But now I'm going to be creating fur. I just wanted to do this the same way I do with most furs, which is I put down a mid-tone first, and then I go over certain areas uh, with a dark version of that color. So this is just a dark muted red, and I'm looking at references, uh, photo references of kitty faces, because I wanted to have a fur pattern that made sense for like my face shape. So just, you know, flick the brush outward and upward in whatever direction makes sense for the hair growth on a face. Then add in a lighter version of the color. I'm starting on my eyebrows. And I didn't cover my eyebrows for this look because I got plans for them, which was my favorite part of this whole thing. When painting the fur, make sure you use a detailed brush because the hairs are going to be tiny and thin, which is what's gonna make them look most realistic. I'm brushing up that like light pink over my eyelids and out around my eyes in sort of like a raccoon kind of fashion. As I was making this critter, I was trying to figure out what it was. It was it kind of made me think of a love bug or a love monster or a fluff ball. Like I don't know what to call it. But if you guys come up with a name for this creature or you want to see more monsters like this, like different versions, different colors, maybe some have wings or whatever, please let me know in the comments below. But what would you name him? Then I'm switching back and forth between light colors and dark colors, and I'm just creating like a mesh of fur that still has some texture variation. Then I'm highlighting my lower lip and extending my lower lip to match up with all of the teeth, and then blending the light color into the darker color below just to create sort of that curved shape. Then I paint my schnauzer black with some Mehran body paint. I was mimicking the shape of a dog nose for this, but really you can make it whatever shape you want. And then I'm using white on top of it just to tap into the black and blend together to create some grays and then adding more white on top of that to create a highlight. So in my imagination, I just pictured this fuzzy critter on these stilt-like legs that were sort of like an ostrich. Uh, if ostriches were fuzzy and didn't have demon talons at the ends of their feet but I just, it reminded me a little bit of Courage the Cowardly Dog, but I fluffed them up with the same um, fur layering I did on my face, so mid-tone first, followed by a dark red, and I wanted the fur to like poof out, sort of like a, like a cartoon ostrich. I, I, it's kind of like an ostrich, I don't know how else to explain it, but just poof out the fuzz, like he's wearing fuzz pants, and then go over it in um, light pink, 
And then I'm outlining where his toes, I keep saying he, is it a girl, is it a guy? I don't know. But I'm outlining his toes in white and then blending it inward. And this is creating the illusion that the little toesies have some dimension. Then after I blend it out, I'm going over the tips again with that white. And then with a dark red, I am outlining the bottoms of the feet just to create some shadowing between them little toesies and adding some cast shadows from the bottom of his poof pants of fuzz onto his little toes. It feels so liberating to just sit down and paint sometimes and just go nuts. I decided that I wanted his eyes to be darker, so I added red to my eyelids and then uh, added, you know, hair to make it blend smoothly between the mid-tone and the light tones and the eyes. I added some more light colors to my beard and my sideburns. All pink fuzzy monsters need nice sideburns. I emphasized my eyebrows some more with some white, then fluffed it on out. I wanted my eyebrows to be really exaggerated because I have plans, like I said, just wait, you'll see, I promise. And here is what I was talking about. So I used Elmer's washable glue to stick down magenta wool that I have because I do needle, needle felting sometimes. And I like to use the fuzz in my body paints. So I'm just gluing the fuzz to my eyebrows. And it totally reminded me of uh, the Mad Hatter in the Tim Burton film. And I just put them on my eyebrows and I freaking loved it. I, I layered the fur uh, and then had it lay so it would foof out at the ends and come up in sort of like little fuzz horns. Then I'm adding really dark red around my eyes to give them more definition. And I wanted it to have, you know, like I wanted the eyes to be a focal point, kind of like the noses. So I decided to use some black eyeliner. This is Bobbi Brown gel liner and I'm just outlining, tight linen and doing the things around my eyes, nothing super fancy adding some more highlights onto the teeth and some shading with some gray. Except flip flop those because I said them at the wrong time. Now I'm highlighting. Then with black, I'm outlining the bases of these teeth and then just sort of blending all the colors together so it looks more natural. To add a little bit more dimension to the teeth, I went back in with a gray eyeshadow from my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette and just lightly shaded in between the teeth and on the base where they connect into my painted on gums. After doing a bunch of shading, I like to go over the tips of all of them again with white, just to make them look all sparkly and at least wet, because he is a little monster. Then with a mixture of white and black to create this really intense gray, I'm creating little claws. I wanted them to be claws, but without looking scary, kind of like in Lilo and Stitch, so they're rounded. And then I added some highlights onto the top of them. I just wanted them to look little, like little plush gumballs, because this is a little Happy Critter. And then with um, Milk's Kush Mascara, I gave myself some luscious lashes to finish off the look. Oh, and I put in really cool contacts from Contact Lens Hub. I had to do it off, off camera though, because this is one of the first times I use these lenses and I was having some issues getting them in, but aren't they cool? So thank you Contact Lens Hub for sending me these. They're super cool. Then to make the illusion possible, I am outlining everything in black and painting everything in black. So essentially, the little two-legged, no-arm fuzzball monster guy will be alone and dancing and floating in the dark. Whenever you're outlining in black up close to the figure, it's really important to go slow. Take your time, it's worth it. You don't wanna mess up all your work. Then pop in your fangs. And then you're all done. I'm, ah, oh, I was having so much fun. I'm like a pink werewolf, courage, a cowardly dog, mixed with a love bug and a monster. I don't have any idea what to call this. What would you call it? And do you want to see some more? Thank you guys so much for sticking the end of this video. Please let me know if you want to see more monsters like this. I want to create some more, but like, tell me, do you want it to have wings? What colors do you want? Uh, like color schemes, eyeballs, extra limbs. Please tell me I want to do more of these. This has been so much fun, especially teasing my hair like this, getting to use contacts and teeth. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button below. And uh, if you have anybody who likes fuzzy fluffy monsters, I would appreciate it if you shared it with them. Also a huge shout out to my wonderful Patreon producers. 
Without you guys, I couldn't make cool stuff like this, so thank you so much for believing in me. These teeth make it hard to speak when you are using the underbite. <laughs> but I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.